Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Ari for your cloud learning journey partner. In today's video, I'm gonna reveal like as a cloud engineer, uh, how much you're gonna make uh, if you land a job in uh, Amazon or uh, Microsoft or Google. Whenever we are talking about cloud uh, providers, uh, mainly we're talking about three major cloud uh, players. These are AWS, Microsoft Azure, and uh, Google Cloud. So in today's video, I'm gonna reveal, like if you land a job in these uh, tech giants as a cloud engineer, how much you're gonna make? So I'm gonna uh, show you like as an entry uh, level, how much you're gonna make or mid level or an uh, expert level. So uh, today's video gonna be very interesting. So please watch the end to this video because uh, all the hard work, all the learning phase, all the experience that you get, uh, you really need to know like what's the earning potential, what's the end uh, price that uh, is waiting for you. So after watching this video, you'll have a clear and precise idea like what are the earning potential as a cloud engineer if you land a job in these uh, tech companies. So before starting the video, I just want to talk about myself. Well, I'm Arif. I do have more than eight years of experience in cloud computing and cybersecurity. I hold multiple certification in uh, AWS, Azure, Go and Google Cloud. Beside that, I also hold CISSP and CCSP certification, which we can consider the uh, industry leader of uh, cloud security certification. So this channel is all about cloud computing, cybersecurity, and IT related tips so if you're interested in this topic this channel is definitely for you i'm gonna upload a tons of videos related to this topic so please please like and subscribe to my channel so that uh, you will see my upcoming videos so without further delay let's explore the salary range so um, now uh, I'm gonna show you like as a cloud engineer, how much you're gonna make if you work for AWS or Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud. So the best way I can show you is uh, by showing the current job posting from these uh, big companies. For that, I have logged into my LinkedIn uh, profile. So this is my LinkedIn account. Uh, please feel free to send me a friend, a friend request uh, and uh, we can connect on LinkedIn and uh, we can uh, share uh, our knowledge. Like if you want to discuss about something, I'm always uh, up and ready. So uh, uh, please uh, send me invitation if you want to connect with me. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to this uh, job section, like the job tab in here, because I really want to show you the uh, current trend, the current uh, salary market uh, of uh, this uh, particular uh, uh, jobs. So let's uh, get started. The job tab, I have searched for AWS, and here you can see I have uh, found a lot of jobs related to AWS and uh, i particularly opened uh, three jobs that i found interesting and these jobs are uh, from the company amazon from aws so it will give us the idea so it's a uh, first job is let's look at a little closely about this job. it's a full time at mid senior level it's not even senior it's more mid mid senior level and the title is manager aws application security so i work as a cloud uh, engineer and also i work on the security but so this uh, pretty much uh, fits my uh, domain so here we can see the let's uh, scan real quick so what they're asking for they're asking like five years of experience five years of experience in uh, software security team and other stuff and they're also asking for cissp uh, that i do have and some uh, has an experience and now the most interesting part that we are really interested to know about what's the salary that we can expect as a cloud engineer in uh, mid-level cloud engineer in uh, amazon in aws well, the base salary for this range is $205,000 per year up to $343,000 per year. So imagine you're earning more than $300,000 a year. That's a good amount of money to live a good lifestyle. And uh, the only thing that you need to do, you need to have the skill set related to cloud computing. You need to have some uh, certification. You really need to have some hands-on experience and boom, then you are all ready to uh, uh, grab this sort of opportunity. So that's why I like cloud because now in uh, nowadays cloud computing uh, skill set is uh, the hot topic if you know cloud you can easily earn with few years of experience you can easily earn more than three hundred thousand dollars usd so that's the first one and now let's look into the second one so this is uh, the second job that i found is like aws application security technical program manager 
So here, a cool part is like, if you notice that whenever we're talking about cloud, the security is uh, pretty important. That's why there are a lot of uh, cloud security jobs uh, in AWS uh, they're posting because uh, whenever a client is moving their data to the cloud, their main concern is whether my data is secure, whether the critical sensitive data that I am uh, planning to move or migrate from my on-prem to the cloud, whether uh, my data gonna be secure, is there any chance of any sort of uh, data breach? So that's why security if you know cloud and security then this is a game changer guys so here under this uh, the job title is this and it's also mid senior level and there are some uh, uh, qualifications like that you need to do and I highly suggest you guys whether you are beginner like you're starting always every day do this go through this job description so when you go through the job description and uh, check the descriptions the job responsibility it will help you to uh, understand the knowledge gap, what you need to learn, what specific skills are uh, uh, lacking and uh, you can work on those and then you will be ready for these jobs. So here, if I scroll down a little bit, so it's also like five years of uh, experience is asking for. Uh, the salary range is, uh, the base salary is $128,000 per, uh, per uh, year to $200,000. So still it's a good amount of salary. and. Uh, you can easily grab it if you have the experience if you have the certification for an example like if you uh, apply for this job opportunities if you have the certification for certification from cloud you have some projects that you can talk about you have a good academic degree then you will be a complete fit for this uh, particular job roles and the third one is senior software engineer aws lambda event devx so now you you must uh, have a question in your mind, like why all the jobs that I'm showing you is more of a senior level thing or mid senior level? Because for the junior entry level jobs, uh, let's uh, go back once again. So after clarifying this one, I will just show you one more thing. So it's also asking for like five years of experience and then uh, it's uh, base salary is 150 to $250,000. Like $250,000 per year is a good amount of money. And the preferred qualification is not that much like the before uh, the others one. It's uh, pretty like it's just asking for a bachelor's degree and just hands-on experience, which is pretty easy to uh, get. So the thing that I wanted to show you, like if I search for it, and uh, there are some jobs basically that I wanted to show. So if I go to the second page, the cloud support engineer this is also one job but uh, the thing is if i go to the this section the salary is not mentioned because if uh, you are not uh, um, expensive if you don't have like three to five years experience then you are kind of new and there is a room for negotiation for uh, from amazon like they want to negotiate with you so that uh, uh, they can uh, uh, give you a uh, good uh, package according to the, their uh, uh, their understanding so that's why because after five years experience you are already skilled and it's very easy to come up with the salary range but if you are starting if just a fresh graduate but you have the skills you have the knowledge but you don't uh, have the experience then uh, uh, aws uh, will um, assess you and after assessing you then they will offer you the salary range that's why they didn't uh, uh, disclose the salary range for the entry or uh, uh, beginner level uh, jobs so that's the reason. That's why I just I can only show you some media, me, uh, the mid level or to senior level. So these are the mid level salaries for AWS, which are pretty, pretty high. So we'll do the same for uh, Microsoft Azure. So likewise, I search for Azure and I uh, opened uh, four particular jobs that I found interesting in here. The first one is this. This is uh, the title of the job role is Cloud Solutions Architect Azure Infrastructure Infra and uh, it's a full-time job and let's look into the qualification it's asking for it's asking for uh it's more of uh, uh the job role is more of uh, the architect level and here are some uh, qualifications it's asking, for, it's asking for a bachelor's and uh, some experience it's better to have and the salary range so uh in big companies what happens they have different level 
different level of uh, uh, job role. So this one is IC4. Typical base range for this role across Canada is uh, $82,000 to $165,000. So it's uh, we can consider this is more of a entry level cost here under the required qualification. We it's just asking for uh, a, a bachelor's and uh, experience like four plus years in uh, uh, IT. So that's why the salary range is uh, in between eight eight thousand to one hundred sixty five. So it's still it's uh, more than one hundred fifty thousand dollars, and uh, the good part is that you are also getting the tag that you work for, uh, uh, you work for Azure, you work for Microsoft, which is a great accomplishment. That's the first one. The second one is this one that uh, I want to share with you, and the salary range. You're gonna look into it, but let's look into the first. Uh, role is the azure infrastructure sales specialist it's more of a like you know your product now you will uh help uh, microsoft to get more uh, uh users more clients and here um, it's uh, it's asking for seven years of experience and uh, it's more of a, a sales role position but it's with the cloud uh, so it, the salary is in between 140 to one uh, two hundred thousand dollars so if you are working currently in a sales position and you want to do a career transition, this is a very good opportunity for you. You can just learn um, the cloud uh, infrastructure, you can learn about cloud, and uh, with your prior experience in sales, you can land a job which will pay more than $200,000 pretty easily. The third job that I want to show you is this one, Cloud Solutions Architect Azure. So I am a solutions architect, so this uh, uh, job will suits me perfectly and uh, it's uh, responsible is minimum is bachelor's and uh, some uh, experience with the technology like the cloud uh, the salary range here is uh, it's ic5 cloud source architect level is $118,000 to $200,000 so the good part is like once you join the company, if you perform well, then you will get a bonus and you will get promotion. And from there, in every level, your salary will go up, up and up. So in big companies, uh, you can always uh, um, uh, write the corporate letter to uh, get uh, more out of it. That's the beauty of big companies. The last one I want to show you is a cloud solution architect, Azure infrastructure infrastructure. Uh, what's the experience it's requiring? It's uh, requiring uh, business. It has uh, more responsibilities and responsibility, uh, bachelor's degree. And the salary range is 88000 to 165 So here, if you compare all the four jobs, the salary is still pretty good. But uh, AWS was uh, uh, paying more than uh, Azure for sure. But uh, anyway, the thing is like once you uh, can land a job in one any of these three companies, then you can always switch if you want to um, boost your career way faster. All right, so uh, now I have searched for Google Cloud. So I opened a few Google Cloud jobs, but uh, unfortunately for just only one job, I was able to see the salary range, but others, uh, they didn't mention it. Uh, so let's uh, look into the one that we see right now. That uh, th This is the one that where they have mentioned the salary. The role is strategic cloud developer, and uh, it's asking for this... Uh, a particular a particular skill set like five years of experience in designing building and deploying cloud a productive and collaboration solution and uh, some uh, certification the stuff that they have mentioned in here some database uh, uh, expertise and the salary range for us and uh, for us candidates uh, is this it's uh, 114000 to one hundred sixty eight thousand dollar plus bonus plus equity plus benefits when you add up all of this it will easily go up uh, more than 200k that's for sure uh, maybe more than 200 to 250k because most of the time these big companies they give you a big amount of uh, uh, equity so if you convert it in cash then it's uh, quite a bit of money so that's a salary from google as a cloud uh, developer or cloud engineer.
now you know exactly like how much uh, you're gonna get paid if you uh, get hired for uh, from any one of these uh, giant cloud providers like aws azure or google cloud so uh, from a personal experience what i have uh, noticed so far is that if you really want to earn uh, uh, some big bucks then aws is the ultimate winner because you have seen they pay you like crazy uh, but one more thing, there is also pressure. Uh, I, uh, I know the fact uh, that is uh, if you work for AWS, uh, you will be have more responsibility. Yeah, that makes sense because then you are earning a lot, then you have to also perform better. Um, well, uh, that's uh, 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 overview. Like uh, I really wanted to create this video for a long, long time because uh, in this channel I'm talking about cloud. Uh, what's the importance of learning cloud? What's the importance to learn uh, cybersecurity, cloud security? But we really need to have a clear vision, clear idea. Like, uh, what's the point? What's the benefit? If we, uh, if I spend my time, my energy to pass some certification, to learn something, uh, uh, some skill set. So what I'm gonna get out of it? So now you know exactly how much money you're gonna get uh, if you uh, get hired for these companies. All, all the, all. The, you need to do is uh, to make a plan, make a roadmap, do some certification, uh, uh, complete some projects, and uh, build your resume and uh, apply for these jobs. If you are qualified, then you will definitely get this uh, thing. And whenever you're preparing any roadmap, always think uh, uh, through, like, uh, it, it's, think it's more of a marathon, it's not a sprint. Um, if you uh, just uh, put effort each and every single a little bit a little bit basis then at the very end it will all add up and you will reach your ultimate goal well uh, if you guys have any questions about uh, these jobs let me know in this comment section and i'm gonna answer you in a very short period of time thank you so much guys for watching my videos it means a lot to me uh, this channel uh, is growing really fast i'm really happy about it the main uh, uh, the vision behind, uh, behind the channel is to uh, create a community where we, we all will help each other to become a better IT professional. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos.